Hi everybody, Kevy here with your battle of the day. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that. However, I'm here now. We're playing Lupo VGC. If you're out there, Lupo, hi. Um, I don't know who you are, but hi. Um, and he has an interesting team. It's Arcanine, Levile, Evelta, Mawile, Bronzong, and Kyogre. Um, for those of you who've been stopping by Twitch recently, because that's where I've been doing most of my Pokemon playing, um, you would know that Eveltal is kind of one of those things I don't like right now. Excuse me. And this is kind of tenfold here, because I have a really unfortunate case of the hiccups. Because he has that Weavile, he has that Eveltal, he has Mawile, heck, even Arcanine gets Snarl. So many things on this team benefit from that Eveltal's Dark Aura boost that I think my best strategy is going to be lead with something with Intimidate, lead with Whimsicott, so maybe if I'm lucky I can get Trick Room up, and then honestly just pray. I do not want to bring Cresselia on the field right now because there are so many Dark-type Pokémon here, or Dark-type move Pokémon, um, that it will not be a good time. And, like, as much as I would love to have Gravity in this matchup, you know, Bronzong, it might actually set up gravity for me. It would be really great if it did, because he does have a heavy Trick Room option on this team. But we will see! Good luck, have fun, Lupo, and let's get this battle started! Ah, oh, it's weird to be recording again, because, like, I'm used to just not having to commentate my own thinking, because when I'm on stream I chat with people, and now it's like, oh, you guys are gonna listen to me talk, I should, I should pay attention. Um, Okay, so there is the Salamence Whimsicott lead. We are going to see a double dark, double shiny, actually, on both sides of the field. Bacon Bird, Eveltal, and that lovely pink and yellow Weavile. As much as I don't really like facing a Weavile, especially in this matchup, I gotta say the fashion sense here is on point. Just A plus there. I mean, I really like neon colors. If I could dress like Evel or if I could dress like Eveltal, if I could dress like Weavile, I probably would, honestly. Um, anyways, we got the Intimidate, which is what we wanted. I have a feeling that Salamence might be the bigger threat here. I'm not 100% sure. It's very possible that Whimsicott is going to get faked out this turn. Um, I'm gonna go for the Trick Room anyway, though, because if I don't go for it now, then I'm not gonna get it ever. Um... If he doesn't fake me out, then I'm good. No matter what attacks he does, if he snarls and then does something Ice-type, I'll survive. If he does fake out the Whimsicott, then my Sash is gone, and my only hope next turn is going to be to Prankster something or other, somehow. Um, so, fingers crossed for the Trick Room. If not, if Eveltal goes for something that isn't Sucker Punch, I can Encore him into that, at least, so I don't have to worry too much about Kyogre getting knocked out. Um, hopefully long enough for me to get an Origin Pulse up. We are not going to see a fake out. Oblivion Wing from that Eveltal will connect with the Whimsicott. Whether or not he doubled into the Whimsicott slot is the question. Whimsicott will reveal the Focus Sash. Weavile goes for the Icicles Crash, but it will connect with Whimsicott. So, unfortunately, no Trick Room this turn. I will get a second Intimidate, which could be helpful, but... Yeah, that Salamence switch, unfortunately, was a really good read by my opponent. I could have switched in Kyogre or Groudon to take that. However, um, I'm kind of glad I didn't, just because it... That's a lot. Like, I don't think that a Kyogre would have been able to take the Oblivion Wing, but you never know. It could have. I don't know these calcs that well. Um, he did have a Kyogre in the back, so I'm going to go ahead, Mega Evolve the Ments, eat... Weavile is at minus two, so there is a possibility that I could survive that Icicle Crash. I'm going for the Origin Pulse to try and get rid of the Sash. Um, I almost doubled into the Veltal slot because it's possible that Weavile... Weavile does switch out here, so bad play on my part. I had a hunch that was what was going to happen. I should have called that better. We are going to see the opposing Kyogre show up on the field, and it is going to Primal Evolve. Um, Primal Revolve, I guess, would be the better term for that. Reverse. I don't know. Anyways, it does the primal thing, so we know it is not choice scarfed. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at. Because Salamence is weak to ice type uh, moves, and a uh, scarf weave- I can't talk anymore. Um, actually, wait, no, you know what? There is something with scarf on the field this turn, 
And it is that Evel talk, because I just realized it outsped the Weavile when it didn't fake out. So that is a Scarf Eveltal. I don't have to worry about Sucker Punch here. I can just attack. So I'm just going to attack. Um, again, we know that Eveltal will recover a little HP, but it's not going to be enough to stop Origin Pulse from KOing it, provided the move connects. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we are going to double into Kyogre. We're going to keep Origin Pulsing, because nothing on the field can learn Wind Guard. Um, and we're going to hope that the combination of damage from the double edge and from that origin pulse will be enough to knock that Kyogre out. Um, we did reveal earlier during team preview that there's a very strong possibility that this team has Trick Room on it. If that Kyogre is minimum speed, then I will definitely be fine here. If it's not, then things are going to be a little bit hairy. Uh, double edge is the first move to attack after that Oblivion Wing, and it actually doesn't matter because it just flat out KOs the Kyogre. So that is pretty great. Salamence still is not in a good spot, but Origin Pulse will connect here and pick up the KO easily onto that Eveltal. So now it is just that Weavile and whatever my opponent has in the back. I believe it might be the Bronzong, but I wouldn't know why. It probably is the Arcanine, actually, and it is the Arcanine. So... As long as he, as long as he out, as long as Kyogre is on the field here, uh, Arcanine can really only snarl. So, but it will get the Intimidate onto Salamence and Levile. So, it's kind of a gamble what to do here. I think Salamence is going to have to be a free switch. I am going to protect the Kyogre. I'm going to try and Hyper Voice because I could double edge here and just be done with it. However. Um, I have a very strong feeling that it's going to be a Snarl and Icicle Crash here, um, which it actually is. So, Salamence isn't really going to be able to attack this turn anyways. Um, you know, my goal here was to do chip damage on Arcanine and to potentially get rid of Weavile's Sash. Uh, Arcanine actually reveals Wild Charge, though, and I should have switched out Kyogre, though. Oh, this, okay, that was, that was a really bad play on my part, actually. I forgot I only had Groudon in the back, so now I'm stuck in this awful position where... <laughs> yeah, Groudon's the slowest thing on the field. Um, Kyogre is basically useless at this point. Um, it's going to come down to whether or not he can take out the Groudon in one turn, which probably... I don't know. I could protect here and try and play it safe. I am going to Ice Beam that Weavile. Um, to, again, just chip damage of some sort, but because of my own stupidity, I'm just gonna play this out. Um, this is the problem when using double primals. You have to be, always be careful about what you have in the back, and unfortunately I was fixating on the commentary for this game, so I completely forgot that I still had Groudon in the back. I thought for some reason I had another Pokemon, but I led Whimsicott, which is why I don't have another Pokemon. I just completely forgot Whimsicott existed, because it did nothing. Um, anyways, thankfully, Ice Cold Crash does not do a lot of damage to Groudon, but unfortunately, it will easily flinch to that flinch chance. So, you know, I am going to protect Kyogre here, because as long as I have two things on the field, I have to force him to play mind games a little bit. We are going to see another Icicle Crash from that Weavile. Um, it does connect, it does not miss. Groudon's going to take another little chunk of damage. Not a lot, but enough. We see another Wild Charge from that Arcanine into the Kyogre slot. Uh, Kyogre protected, so no damage here, and a... Uh, Precipice Blades is enough to clean up the match. So, I did end up winning. I don't really know if I should have, because I really played poorly at the end. I should have switched in Groudon for that Kyogre slot, because even if he did Snarl, I wouldn't really... It wouldn't bother me, because I'm a physical Groudon. Um, and that way, I could have had Groudon on the field with Rain Up. Because that way, Kyogre could have Origin Pulse, Groudon could have Precipice Bladed, and then even though those moves are both horribly inaccurate, odds are I would have been okay. I wouldn't have called it as close as that game was anyways. So, yeah, that's your battle of the day. It's been a long time, guys. I will try to be back all week because I'm recording all of these right in a row. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Tell your friends all that good YouTube stuff. Thank you for your support, and I will be back tomorrow with another Battle of the Day. See ya!